Right, I'm going to knock up the, the, the original paste. They come in 500 gram bags, which is a lot more than normal paste come in. They come in four different flavours, strawberry, halibut, corn and the original. For a typical four or five hour session, I'll use half of this bag, 250 grams. Always cold water? Yeah, straight out of the lake. I always do it on the yep. day of the match. I don't bother. You never mix at home? No, right. don't bother. It's just so easy to do. Is, you, you want... is your wife missing a bowl in the kitchen? She could be, yeah. Yeah, amazing. So what I do, you just add a little and often, you know. I know it's going to take in water anyway. You know, it's going to dry out. A bit like mixing crumb then, really, Gary. Yeah, a little it? bit, yeah. See, now that's, that'll hold together, but it's no good for the hook yet because it'll dissolve too quick. The drier it is, the quicker it dissolves. Yep. It can take in water. Yep. So you're giving it as much water as, as you can. As I can, can yeah. yeah. Before it gets too wet. And obviously, this is trial and error, knowing where you need yeah. to be, yeah. Well, like I say, it's, it's quite foolproof, you know, even if you, if you made it a little bit wet, just add a little bit more to it. Can right. I take a piece, just to, yep. as I say, I'm the worst paste hanger in the world, so. Again, that's getting near it now, but that's going to take in water and within five minutes or so, it's going to dry out a bit more. Right, we're getting near where I'd call sort of like normal paste now. Right, and it's gone. It's gone into a ball basically before you put it in your hands, hasn't yeah. it? Within the bowl, that yeah. was interesting seeing that. That's what you get out of a like half a bag, that is. That'd right. be plenty for a match. So you've used what there, a pint Just to 250 pint. grams of. Yeah. yeah. Well, earth, so there's no yeah. set rules of how you've got to have it. You have it how you want earth fish with it. You know, some people are. Yeah, but guys like yourself, Gary, they don't make a reputation for themselves without getting it dead right. Mm. Some people are happy fishing a stiffer paste. Yeah. You know, I just prefer it. I heard somebody mention on the bank the other day they'd fished long in a match and they'd actually won the match. I was fishing in a night match and uh, this lad's got a bit of a reputation for pace fishing himself and he said he'd mixed, he'd fished long, um, I don't know, probably 13, 14 metres and he said he'd fished it like concrete. Yeah. And what he said was, he, because he'd mixed it like concrete to fish long, he said the float kept coming up. Yeah. What, what does that sort of well, interpret to you? If it's like concrete, it's not got enough water in it. So. As you're putting that, dropping that in the water, straight away the water's breaking that down. So right. that's only going to last a couple of minutes before the water gets into it. It's probably undershotted the float, so the float's pulling up out the paste. Right. You know, okay. That's why I always have mine an inch on the bottom and I have it as much water as I can get away Gosh, with that is before soft. it goes. That is soft, boy. You'd think that's trying to get that on the hook. soft and... as we fish soft paste. Amazing. That's about normal, that is. That's, that's normal. Yeah. Normal above uh, the limit of soft, yeah. yeah? Well, that's amazing. I'd uh, mix mine much harder than that. Yeah. That's probably why I'm no good at it. <laughs> and what we'll do as well with the feed pellets, we'll soak them for a couple of minutes. This will quicken the breakdown on the pellets as well. Because as we're putting them, we want them breaking down yeah. so they look like little piles of paste as well on the floor. So we'll soak them for a couple of minutes to then drain the water off. That's amazing. And then we're ready to go. You never cover your pellets in water then, Gary, just a small amount. I would amount do, yeah, well, I haven't got enough there, but I'll, I'll sort that out when I get onto the box there. Brilliant. So we're now ready.